What's going on today, guys? We're in the shop. We're not working on that. We're not working on this. We are working on the 72 again. So, I got the right valve cover gaskets. They're actually the exact same ones that came off the truck. So we can throw that old one away. We got these new ones we can put on. We got some more carb clean, whatever this is, brake clean, so we can clean these valve covers pretty decent. We got an adjustable timing light and we got oil and oil filter and a tachometer on the way. So to set the timing on this, we need a tachometer and we need this special timing light. Um, so anyways, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get the intake manifold over here and we're gonna start cleaning this guy up right down there. We're gonna get him cleaned up, get it all scraped off, sand it down, whatever we gotta do, make it nice and clean. We're gonna drop the truck down. We're gonna put it on. Uh, we got RTV, we got gaskets. And then after that is done, we will get the valve covers on, get the carburetor in place, and maybe find TDC and stab the dizzy. We gotta figure that out. Oh, and we gotta get spark plug wires on, or uh, spark plugs and spark plug wires. So. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna grab the uh, valve cover and I will be right back. All right, check it out. Can you see it? Carissa's supposed to be cameraing, but she's just sitting on her butt instead of cameraing. Look at the back, we're on here somewhere, which is super cool. Um, I got Carissa's hair, it's like all over me. This is Garrett's shirt. Garrett owns JDM Connect. That's not what that says. It's up here. He imports parts, imports cars. Um, basically what you do, you go to his website, reach out to him. He'll find you what you want, or you find what you want with my video that I posted. And you get in contact with him. He gets you your parts, gets them shipped over here, gets them shipped to you, all that good stuff. But this shirt, if you go buy this shirt, it's 45 bucks. Uh, you get entered in to win not this exact truck because it doesn't have these wheels on it. But anyways, super cool one. I'll drop a clip in the video right here of the truck. Go get a shirt. Go get entered to win giveaways in March, I think, at Texas 2K. So get you a shirt. Maybe get you a K truck. All right. We're just going to try and get all this gasket material, all this RTV off of here. Look at that. Gross. So much of this stuff. It's kind of crazy, like the difference between old school and modern engines. Modern engines the uh, intake manifold is separate from everything else. Like the, uh, there's a valley cover that seals um, all the oil into the engine up in the valley. On old school engines, it's the intake manifold. So the bottom side of this, all this area right here, all uh, has oil up underneath it. That's why it's so nasty. So we have to get all that off, all of this. They put so much RTV on here. It's kind of wild. So anywho, we're gonna use uh, a tool that makes this nice and easy. Get you one of these guys. They're a little noisy, but they're super nice. Um, if you haven't used your air tools in a while, always give them a little spritz of some uh, WD-40 up in there. Gonna lube it up, help it out. I'm gonna go grab this air hose and we're gonna start making some noise.
Okay, so according to Edelbrock, which is our manifold and our gaskets are from, they say to put some uh, some tacky stuff down here. Uh, I don't know what they called it. Carissa knows. Gasca Sanch. Whatever that is. Um, we don't have any of that, but what we do have is some RTV. So put a little RTV down there. Um, I don't know if you can see this silicone ring. It says to put that towards the intake manifold. So that's what we're doing. We're just cinching this down so it'll stay nice and sticky. Then the fun part is you got to take your RTV. I say fun, not honestly, very sarcastically. You have to build up on these ends here. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the back here. Try and keep that stuff out of our business. Excuse me, stuff. Get away. I need to be taller to work on this truck. Look at that, I'm taller now. <coughs> So you want a good amount in the corner and then just build you a nice thick bead of RTV along the edge here. Just like that. Put a little more here. That should be good. All right, so that should be good. That's basically a whole tube of RTV <laughs> to do this job. Now, we've got our manifold, nice and disgusting. Should have probably cleaned the top, but oh well. The engine will do that. Sit it down on there. Looks good. I didn't clean the intake manifold, but that's not a big deal. Once we're all done with this and the truck's ready to go, we're going to get a hold of our friend Hunter and get him to come over, give this thing a detail. We'll see how he does. It'll be our first time using him. Um, he's a young kid. He's a good kid. And uh, yeah, I don't know what this does. I believe it is a return. I think it holds the return spring here <laughs> for our carburetor. So before I tighten all these down, uh, we are missing two, so we'll have to go get two. But we can put these uh, four corners on. And then it'll allow all the RTV to set. The internet said to uh, put thread locker on all, or not thread locker, uh, thread sealant on all these. So we went ahead and did that. It said if you don't, you'll have oil seeping up, which it appears that we had that happening. Breather. 
So here we go. We got the correct valve cover gaskets. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these down on here. Okay, the other one. These are nice like billet aluminum, but they're not billet, they're cast, but they, they're like super thick. Uh, I think we'll go this way. Like, towards the back. All right. Okay. What's going on guys? I have no idea the last thing we shot. I don't know if this is in the middle of a video or the beginning of a video, but here's the motor. <laughs> it looks pretty good. We are going to pull this valve cover off, find top dead center, and then we're going to drop in our distributor, plugs, wires, all these wires up here. We gotta like put this on, put the alternator, things like that. Then my plan is to try and drain this thing out of fuel. We got the battery charger on it. Try and drain all the fuel out. We got five gallons of nice 91. Throw that in here. Fingers crossed it starts. Oh, we gotta change the oil at some point in time too. So anyways, let's get this off. He had that open, and then watch down here for our TDC mark. What does it look like? Maybe right there, that line. Oh, it's over there. I found it. I found it. Dot right here. Twenty zero right there. Boom. Okay, so we should be exactly at top dead center. So here's our distributor. We'll get this thing shoved down in there. So we put on our little gasket, and the way this goes, that goes this way, and then this faces number one. Nice K and N filter. Which way is off this way? Yuck. 
see how much water comes out when we pull this drain plug. This was a fresh oil change. This has zero miles on it. Well, not too bad, I guess. That's all uh, oil. All right, let's see if this will do anything. Fingers crossed. It does only good stuff. Seems like we're not getting spark. Did we record any of us cranking this thing? Mm -hmm. All right. It didn't fire up. It didn't do good things. Um, it's filled the valley with fuel, so we're going to have to pull the carburetor. Definitely replace our uh, accelerator diaphragm here. Perhaps this bowl right here is leaking in between the plate. So we might have to take that apart. But we don't have spark. No spark at all. So after doing a little research online, it says that the ignition control module is probably bad in the distributor. Why it would go bad sitting? Um, I don't know. Maybe I bumped it when I was putting it in, unplugged something. What's going on guys? So the last clip I shot, I said, ah oh, man, we couldn't get the truck running. But if you notice, we're not over by the shop. It's that direction. And here's the truck. So I played around with it a little more. I thought we didn't have spark, but we did have spark. What happened, I, when I, when I stabbed the distributor, I had it off one cylinder so we got that fixed and the truck fired right up I actually drove it to work today got the tack in um, let's see if she'll fire up Yeah, baby. So anyways, there it is. Truck runs and drives. Um, it's pretty awesome. This will be the second to last video this year. I'm gonna put out one more video. Uh, or maybe I'll save it till the beginning of the year. This might be the last video of the year. I don't know. Stay tuned. Um, if you guys wanna see more content like this, probably not gonna happen. Not gonna do much with this next year. Um, we have some other projects for next year that I'm super excited about. Hopefully this will get done next year, at least running and driving. But uh, for now, see you guys on the next one.